Las Vegas Valley. This is Channel 8 News Now. This morning, with Dave McCann and Dana Roselli. Neighborhood weather with Sherry Swens. And beat the traffic with Brian Loftus and Ken Smith. Your morning begins now. Craig and Operation Medicine Cabinet is kicking off again. It's happening this weekend. Dana Roselli has some more information. Yeah, Paris Hilton could come drop off her, her goods over at uh, Operation Medicine Cabinet, huh? We would welcome that. <laughs> of course you would. Dr. Paul Osterman joining us this morning. And 8 News Now gearing up for the third a successful, we hope, Operation Medicine Cabinet this weekend. Good morning. Good morning. Glad to be here. Tell me a little bit about this. I know we've done them in the past and they've been extremely successful. Something you don't think about every day though as far as discarding expired prescription drugs. Right. We've had, as you mentioned, uh, two prior events. Mm -hmm. so the first one we had 200 people come by. The second one, just a month ago, we had over 400 uh, people stop off and drop off in excess of 500 pounds of unwanted and unused medications. So mm -hmm. um, this is really exciting. This coming Saturday we're part of a national take back event and these events are going to be held all over the country mm. and we're actually got four separate sites here in the Las Vegas Valley. So that'll be that you were saying is a huge thing because that way people it's closer so people will be more apt to actually go do this. Right we've got uh, you know Henderson Police Department is involved this time with the uh, Galleria Mall as mm. their uh, site and then uh, Las Vegas Metro has three separate uh, stations that they've got uh, set up for uh, the event. Great great now talk about the importance of this sometimes you think well why do I have to discard why did it go somewhere to discard my expired prescription medication? Why can't I throw it in the garbage? Well, expired and unwanted medications, uh, we all have them. They mm -hmm. sit in the medicine cabinet and what to do with them. And that's the question. So the recommendation is to come to an event like this because as they sit in the medicine cabinet at home, they just sit there. Somebody comes into your house. Mm -hmm. And this is where the big push has been lately with teens in particular. But they'll go into medicine cabinets, take a few doses out, and then they bring it to school. And we'll get together with their friends and they have what they call a farm party. Mm -hmm. And they take them and don't know what can happen. And we have uh, multiple cases here in the Las Vegas Valley where there have been uh, serious and including fatal overdoses with this. Yeah, and I think it's funny because you and I were talking about like a lot of people don't even know this exists, this farm party. Right. And so, I mean, to get the word out, even just like, hey, this is a, is a concern. You know, as a practicing pharmacist and uh, educator with the University of Southern Nevada College of Pharmacy, our concern is if we can impact one person, we've done mm -hmm. great work. So okay. it's really important for everybody to uh, get involved with this event, four different locations, this Saturday. Saturday, Perfect. 9 to 1. Hope to see everybody there. Yes, that's for sure. Thank you so much. We have information on our website too, 8newsnow.com. Thanks Great. for coming on. All right, thank you. We'll be back after this.